All right, so we got uh, four hours and 40 minutes on our generator, so it's time to run it for another 20 minutes. And uh, that'll be five hours, so after this we're going to be changing the oil. So we're gonna, after we let it run for 20 minutes, the oil is going to be warm. Ah, oh, it's going to be easy to get out of this, out of the uh, generator. So you, you don't want to uh, try to change the oil unless the oil is warm. So I put the gas canister in the kind of in the shade here. It's about 75 degrees out here. So to change the oil, we're going to put the generator up on these blocks because it has to drain out from the bottom. So. So we'll fire it up and then we'll uh, uh, go ahead and uh, change the oil. Turn the gas on. Turn the battery on. Hit the starter. It's not easy to hit, try to hit it once and hold it down. It starts right up. You keep holding the button down, it will start up, but it takes longer. So. Alright, that's it for now. We'll come back when time turns the oil. Alright, 20 minutes are up. I'm going to shut it off. Alright, so that's all done. Now the oil is nice and warm, so we should be able to uh, drain it out. So the next step is to put it up on the blocks over here. So let's, let's see how we do that. Alright, so the generator weighs over 100 pounds. I don't want to lift it up by myself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this side, put it on this block, and I'm going to lift up this side. I'm only lifting half the weight now because half of it's resting on there. This block under. Like that. It's centered. Yeah. So the engine's behind this uh, cover, so we need to take the cover off. Let's work on that next. Alright, so now we're going to change the oil. The engine's still warm, so you need to use a big screwdriver. It's got a Phillips, but I really want to use a flathead. Unscrew these screws, they're captive. I already loosened them, so. Then the cover comes off, you see the engine. So here's the oil line. So in the past, there was a drill uh, oil uh, pan plug right here. You had to unscrew using a long uh, ratchet. Um, and then the oil would drip down through a hole in the bottom of this. But this is obviously, this is a better system. You just have to disconnect this hose and then the oil will drip down into this pan. So I used to change my oil, but I got rid of my oil pan, so I just have this old uh, cake pan. It's metal, so it shouldn't be a problem. So first you need to unscrew the dipstick so the air can get into the engine. So I put that aside on the paper towel. And then there's some... Uh, spring clamp here. You just, it says use pliers, but you can just use your fingers. And then you want to pull this off. It's coming off slowly. And then, this is, this is like a little plug here, see? And then when you tip it down, the oil comes out. So let's get in on there. Yeah, you see the oil's coming right out. So you, as long as the bottom of the hose is below the engine, then the siphon will suck the oil out. So, and the, the old one, you had to tip it up a lot. Hopefully, you don't have to do that. All right, so it's about uh, 0.6 quarts of oil. So it's should, this pan should have plenty of room for it. I'll just finish draining this, and then we'll come back and put the new oil in. All right, just a few more drips here. Uh, I hold it down. A little bit more will come out, but. Look at this oil, it's got some metal in it, a teeny bit. I mean, this is not a sophisticated engine like the one in your car, so that's why it needs a break-in period. Your cars don't require, car engines don't require break-in periods anymore because they're, they're made a lot better than this engine. But this engine is sufficient for what we need, so we don't really have to worry about it. So I, I think it's fine. Uh, oil doesn't look all too sludgy, so. 
good idea to change after five hours, I'd recommend that. And then supposed to do it every 100 hours subsequent to that. I don't think we're not going to run this 100 hours a year, so I'm just going to change it once a year. That's my plan. All right, so now we've got it set up to uh, put the new oil in, and we'll take it from there. All right, so the first thing we need to do is plug up the drain again. So this is just a solid metal rod that this uh, hose goes into. So th this is a lot superior to the system I saw online for the last version of this. Because you had to tip the the compressor over, which is you know kind of dangerous. Here, it just comes out by a siphon action. So you need to slip this back over. Wipe it off a little bit. Hanging around inside the engine compartment, it's going to cause it smoking. So, slide it back over there, it went on really easily. And then move the spring clamp up, and it clamps it on there securely, and uh, good for another 100 hours. All right, so I'm gonna need, now we need to get the funnel, and we're going to put the oil back, the new oil in here. In All right, so here's our oil. So, we've still got 0.4 uh, liters left here. We're gonna use up the rest of this. And then we'll use, uh, I got some new 1030 oil. So it requires 1030 oil, unless you're in a cold weather area. This is just the, the uh, uh, funnel that came with it. So we'll put in the 0.4 first. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure I needed to put it up on blocks. I think with the wheels and everything, I might have just drained into the, my uh, cake pan without putting it up on the blocks. I'll have to try that next time. Before I opened it up, I thought uh, I was going to have to uh, take the drain plug out. So since this has a drain hose, I think we'd go right into that pan without being up in the air. So. All right, so now that was 0.4. Now we got to add uh, 0.2 from here. So this is about... Point two is going to be close to here. Yeah, somewhere right a little above 700 here. You don't, you don't want to overfill it, that's for sure. So we'll probably try to put a little bit in and then uh, check it. Let's see, a little bit more than that. He's put in 100 milliliters. Get down to 800 there. That might be just about right. Okay, so we're at 800 on here. And we'll uh, take the take this out. Now to check the check the oil, you just want to uh, put the dipstick in without screwing it in, and check it. And yeah, that's full to me, so it's shiny up to right up to here. So, all right, that's enough oil. So we have enough for our next oil change. And what I'm going to do with the old oil is I'll just let it cool. I'll do it tomorrow morning. Might not cool off this afternoon. Then I can use the funnel to put it back in the old uh, or the empty uh, <coughs> oil container, and then I can recycle it. So. All right, so that was pretty easy. So we'll just put the cover back on, and it'll be good to go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.